Him, they call him Guido. Their new name calling him. Folks. Crowd is going loser. You can hear him. They're calling him loser. Remember he's backing him up. All right, ECPW fans, welcome to another broadcast of Adrenaline. I'm Matt, normally your cameraman, but apparently, according to Doug DeVito, I am now the announcer as well. I am now a commentator, and our new security guard is here. Security now, but Kevin DeVito again just said, if you don't start talking, he's going to throw you the hell out of here. Right. So you better stop calling the action. Okay. Matt, I guess it's important. Well, in the ring is Tristan Law. Kevin, what do you know about Tristan Law? Tristan Law is a good wrestler, tries to do his best, tries to work around. But right now, uh, he's facing, he is facing a legend in this business, Scotty Charisma. Charisma. Scotty Charisma has been in the business for a long time, folks. That's right, Kyle likes him. You know, he, he's wrestled all up and down the East Coast. He's been in ECPW for a very long time, and Tristan Law's got quite the challenge ahead of him from Scotty Charisma. You know, it wasn't so long ago that Tristan Law looked up to Scotty Charisma because, you know, Law was, was rising up. He was a fan favorite. He had a bright future. And then... Under the influence of Vinny DeGuido and Dan the Man, he just turned his back on the fans, and now it's this, it's this new side of Tristan Law, a more vicious, cheating side. I really, I, just, I can't believe we're out here. I don't know why DeVito did this to us. I don't know. Bell sounds, and here we go, folks. Calling elbow. Both the ropes, referee's gonna break the hole. And Law with a handful of the tights forces Charisma into the corner. We got a clean break here. We have a clean break. Maybe not. Charisma ducks under though. And a nice headlock takeover. Tristan Law's down in the middle of the ring. And Charisma wrenching that neck, got him in the side headlock. Law's come back to his feet though. Law's got a bit of a size advantage here. But uh, Scotty Charisma's the veteran. He's got the whip off to the ropes. Experience. Law nails him, and it goes down. Charisma goes down. Off the rope. The elbow drop. Charisma gets out of the way. Charisma again. Another headlock takeover. And Scotty Charisma's just uh, he's kind of having a little bit of fun with Tristan Law in the opening minutes of this match. Colin Elbow. Law forces Scotty Charisma back to the uh, corner. Shoulder block into Scotty Charisma's chest. Irish whip. Charisma misses. Push the wall back. And Charisma with the takeover. And, and fans, for those of you who are just tuning in and who missed our show last week, Doug DeVito, the new owner of ECPW, has, has, has well, he's shaking things up here quite a bit. Former announcer Mike is now, I, I believe he's taking tickets at the front door. And Joey G is working security at the ground ring. Scotty Charisma trying to do bigger four. No. No. He's trying to do his Boston Crab coming in. Scotty Charisma got to in trouble. He's in the middle of the ring. He's going to Boston Crab out. trying to reach the ropes. He raised the ropes. The referee's trying to make a break. Made him break. And you're always going to get a clean break from Scotty Charisma. Official goes out of the ring. Did I say to come over here and announce? What are you doing, Drake? Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna wear them. Tristan Law pulls him out. Who said you could announce? I got the memo. All right, I guess I'm gone. Good luck, Kevin. 
Tristan was on the outside. You're a stupid idiot. Where'd you go to school? Did you go to school, stupid? No. You get out of here. You don't even have to talk. Get out of here. Can I have my soda, please, Vito? I'm thirsty. Well, Joey G, welcome back. Are we, are we back? Are we back? <laughs> Looks like ECPW owner changed his mind. They took my soda. I guess he needed us. I hate to say this, but he changes his mind more than... Nah, I'm not going there. No, I don't think he does change that. Thing. Not going there. Well, ECPW fans, I don't know what action you heard called. I don't know if who was called at all. Joey G was doing security, and I was at the front desk. How's the front desk go? Quite smooth. I had things under control. You know. I had security under control. <laughs> well, you know what? I think... Uh, I think the two people that uh, DeVito put out here could do the job, and it's the only reason we're back. Well, it's a steady paycheck no matter what we're doing here at ECPW. And right now, Scotty Charisma, one of my favorites, against Tristan Law. And Law in control right now. Oh, what a backbreaker. He threw him so hard over his knee, he lost his own balance. Well, I guess they opened up the show. We don't have to open it up, Michael, right? I guess not. And uh, I was paying attention to all the fans coming here this week on ECPW Adrenaline. Oh, well, hey, you know what? Somebody was nice enough to let us see who's wrestling tonight. Uh, we've got a light heavyweight championship match coming up. Well, of course, a merengue warrior. Who, who's he going to defend the title against? I, I, I thought it was the uh, Dominican Diablo, but I'm not sure. Well, fans, you got to excuse us. Joey G and myself are a little scrambled. Uh, last week's ECPW Adrenaline ended with uh, you in quite the predicament. The heavyweight cha well, champion. I, I, I thought Andrew Anderson was going to give me a beat. My goodness. And uh, I was frightened for your life, Joey well, G. I'll tell you, nobody was more frightened than me. He, he's, the, the guy is a lunatic. You see what he did to the poor creeper. He snapped. He's lost it. He snapped. He lost it. Creeper is someone that's looked up to Andrew Anderson for years now in ECPW. And I could see from my vantage point, even though we weren't at the commentary desk here, Creeper was just begging and pleading with the reinforcer, and, and Anderson, won, he wouldn't have anything to do with it. No. And right now, Tristan Law wants nothing to do with those forearm shots of Scotty Charisma. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, I almost forgot about the match going on. Just try to do what we enjoy doing. And that's seeing Scotty Charisma going for the pin. No, only a two count, says referee for this week, Scott Ball. Well, the producer's trying to get a hold of me. Let me just see what he wants, Mike. Oh boy, good luck. The Charisma splash into the corner, off the ropes now. Duck under. Patented flying clothesline by Scotty Charisma. Isn't it one, two? No. Christian Law kicks out right at two and a half, says referee Scott Volk. Charisma thought he had it won, and so did I, fans. Fans want Scotty Charisma to finish off Christian Law, but Christian's not going down that quickly. Is it a sidewalk slam? Indeed it is. He hooks both legs. Oh! Two and seven eighths on that one. Scotty Charisma literally gasping for air this week on adrenaline. Tristan Law in full control looking to put this one away. Scotty Charisma practically out on his feet, but no, he gets the jawjacker. 
Look out, where's Scotty Charisma going? We got high ceilings here in Paramus. Look out. Flying body press, is this it? Two. That's it. What a hard fought victory, Joey G, by Scotty Charisma. Boy, that's no easy task to put down Tristan Law. Not, not to take away anything, Mike, and I'm, I'm sorry I missed most of this match, but our producer, Vinny Avellino, wanted to say goodbye. He was just fired by DeVito. Not Vinny Avellino. Vinny Avellino, fired. Longtime producer for ECPW. Fired. Gone? Gone. Oh my Gone. goodness. So I don't know what's going to happen for tonight's show, but I think ECPW is on its own. Unless DeVito's going to be the producer as well. DeVito. Which he may be. DeVito wants to control everything. ECPW fans, you want to keep it right here on Adrenaline. Whether Joey G and I will be, be back after this short break or not is yet to be known, but we got a light heavyweight title match coming up. Keep it right here. Andrew Anderson, you think you're a man? You think what you did here tonight makes you a man? You beat up the creeper? A defenseless little troll who followed you around, carried your bags, chews on a rat, and idolized you. And what do you do? You beat him down? What, what did that prove? Proved you're a coward. Coward. Well, you did that here tonight. But next week, you gotta face me. You gotta face your former partner, Jumbo Joe Guns, and I don't back down. Not from anybody! Especially not from you. So shine that belt up real nice and bring it next week. Because next week, not I'm only gonna embarrass you, but I'm gonna take your belt and send you home shamed.
And you know all about that crack security, Joey G. And, and Vinny Aquilino being fired tonight, our head producer, just, it really brought tears to my eyes. The guy's been with ECBW for almost eight years now, and DeVito just fired him on the spot. I can't believe it. Vinny Avellino. What's Doug DeVito going to do next? Huh. And what's the Diablo going to do next? Merengue caught that one. A little too quick. Oh, right on the spine of you know where. They're going to feel that one in the Dominican Republic. I tell you, I didn't know that uh, Merengue Warrior knew fat leprechauns. <laughs> Look at the Irish. That's a big uh, shamrock on his chest. That's a big something. It's something big below his chest. Look out, here comes the Diablo. Raid Ravallo telling the referee to hurry up. He wants this light heavyweight championship right in front of us. And he'll do anything to get it. Joey G, that might be the biggest shamrock I've ever seen. <laughs> what a sham. Rock. But, you know, we got a great match going on in the ring with the Diablo and Merengue. And the luck of the Irish outside the ring shouting words of encouragement to the ECPW light heavyweight champion. And you know what's even better than this great match? DeVito hasn't been out here yet. Keep your fingers crossed, your toes, and uh, well. Oh, wait a second. Any hair we got left on our head. I, I, I'm just looking at the notes. Look at, the, look at our main event for tonight. Oh, you're right, Joey G. Well, the good news is the ECPW television title will be defended immediately after that, after this match. And there goes the luck of the Irish's hat. Tony Fiore defending his television title coming up. But his opponent, unfortunately, will be escorted to the ring by uh, you know who. Doug DeVito and his opponent is crazy. crazy Ivan. Stereo here at ECPW. and. Uh, <laughs> Well, let's call this match while we can, Joey G. How, how many people will be uh, part of that entourage? God knows the DeVito train. Last week, you had the peacemaker out here, Andrew Anderson, threatening to rip your head off. Oh, he, he, he caught me a shot. He almost knocked me down. Luckily, I could have grabbed my balance, but if he would have got me down, I think I he would have just stopped the hell out of me. You'd be toast. You'd have to hire more security. The guy is absolutely nuts. I'd probably still be working the front desk. A switch of the hips, and here comes Merengue. Oh, but Diablo doesn't like that. Nice clothesline by the Dominican Diablo. Say what you want about him. Uh, well, Braid Ravallo thinks he's in a heavyweight championship match, and uh, someone needs to tell him it's for the light heavyweight title. Look at the physique on Ravallo, though. It's looking good, the Dominican Diablo. Obviously enjoying those beaches of the Dominican Republic. Merengue Warrior just trying to make it to his knees here. He's going to need that luck of the Irish. I still can't, I don't get the connection between the Merengue Warrior and, and, and the well, luck of the Irish. You know I don't is, get it. Merengue Warrior again, the good sport that he is, a fan from ringside wrote to the Merengue Warrior and asked if he could walk him out to the ring, and that's what Merengue Warrior did. That's a great sport. A great athlete and a great human being. Yeah, well, Joey G, we need a few more of those great human beings like Merengue here in ECPW. And you know who I'm talking about. Nice knee in the corner by Merengue. Reversal by Diablo. Up and over goes Merengue. Nice power body slam. Referee scuffle. A two count. 
look shocked that that wasn't a three. I was shocked that it wasn't a three. Look at the Irish was shocked it wasn't three. These fans were shocked. Goes in for a side breaker. Spinning style. Nice, nice move by the Merengue. He spun those hips. Dancing with the stars, look out. Uh, you think the Leprechaun's gonna dance with the Merengue Warrior? I don't play? know, but the Merengue Warrior, I thought he was gonna go for his patented maneuver, Fin de la Musica, but he decided to switch it up a bit. And Nobody he might, home for the Senor. No, he might have might have paid the price for that one. Donde esta el hospital is saying the Merengue Warrior. And here goes Diablo! What a DDT! It, uh, That's gotta be it. That's gotta hurt. We could have a new light heavyweight champion! Uh, too, too slow for that, going for the pin, and I think too lackadaisical of a cover. Too arrogant. We're not Doug DeVito, we don't have that power. <laughs> He's asking us for a new ref. Referee's got to open those fists right now. Raid Rivalo can taste this light heavyweight championship belt. No, but Merengue, he scoops over. What's this maneuver he's going for? What's this? Is it going to be a Boston Crab or maybe a Dominican Crab? No, right into the corner. the Merengue Warrior. Here, oh, here we go now. Fin de la Musica, Joey G. Could it be over? He hurt his own abdomen on that one, Joey. Well, it's like steel meeting steel. And not George the Animal Steel. Hey! <laughs> and the Diablo hurt so bad on Fin de la Musica, he's outside the ring. They're right in front of us now. Oh, goodness. Merengue Warrior throws uh, Diablo into the ring. Looking to finish him off, defend his light heavyweight title. He's got luck of the Irish on his side. Oh! But unfortunately, he didn't have a cup. My God! That was a low blow. What is a low blow? And the referee saw it. My goodness. Was he giving him the Bronx cheer? Say adios to the huevos of the Merengue Warrior. That was... Oh. Diablo still wants a piece of him. Well, I know there's two pieces he's not going to get. Merengue covering up, <laughs> but he's not protecting his own. Oh, right on the upper shoulder region. I think Diablo won at the back of his head. He's coming Diablo over to us, Joey the G. I'm the next No, you got disqualified. Joey G, he is not the light heavyweight champion. A blatant low blow by this Dominican Diablo, and I'll tell you what. Whoa, 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 don't do that, you're gonna get suspended. Don't do that, you'll get suspended. What, don't you think he's one of Doug DeVito's boys? I don't know. You know, you don't know who's DeVito. You gotta be. You gotta be. You gotta be greasing DeVito's palm to be one of his boys. You gotta be on his own personal payroll. ECPW fans, as Ray Ravallo practically attacks a fan here, we need help, we need security for the light heavyweight champion. Fans, we'll be back. The TV title's on the line next. This next contest is scheduled for one ball. It is for the ECPW TV Championship.
should we just leave now? I don't know. If we leave, we'll get fired completely. Yeah. And I need this job. I'm I know staying you right here. Whatever you say, boss. No. I, I'm, I'm being good, boss. I know you're the general. Yes, boss. You're the general. Yes, boss. Speaking of ball and chains, directly from Rawway State Prison, I believe he was announced from. Uh oh, there he goes. And he looks crazier than ever. Oh, it, you know what? We got Tony Fiore here tonight. And uh, if anybody could stand toe to toe with Vito and Ivan, it's Tony Fiore. ECPW television champion, the Forget About It Kid, has held that television title for a long, long time, Joey G. And here we go. He may. He may and he will. Supposed to be a match tonight for the TV title. Supposed to be? Tony Fury, your hero, is supposed to defend you. So he's not here. Not here. He's not able to defend his title against Crazy Idol. What? So, as the power, as the owner of Vested in me, I can make the rules whenever I want. As of now, you know what's coming, don't you? I'm stripping Tony Fury of oh, the TV. Maybe we'll have a tournament. Get that belt right now. Hurry up. Gotta be kidding me. We're a tag team, Joey G. We should put mask on. Idiot one, idiot two. Maybe we'll have paper bags on our head. Respect is gonna kick us out anyway. We're not saying anything because I. CPW fans, fans, we'll see you next week.